So I'm just making a quick video here about uh, about the story that I saw on DailyMail.com. BBC should make bigots the butt of jokes instead. Uh, Peter Kay's cruel car share gag sparks fury after show pokes fun at transgender woman who's beaten into a coma because she quote can't run in heels. So it turns out I've never heard of the show. I guess it's a big deal or something in uh, in Britain on BBC One. Uh, where these people drive around in a car and just ad-lib conversations. Uh, but anyway, it seems as though... Uh, here we go. Manny branded a gag about a man called Gordon who came out as a transgender woman and was beaten up by thugs because he couldn't, quote, run in heels. Deeply offensive. Um, and then the sidekick is heard saying that this person's wife should have pulled the tubes out while she was visiting him in a coma in the hospital because he kept his secret life from her. Now, obviously, this is not a true story. This is just a gag that was sort of set up for the show. Um, so again, I'm kind of, uh, I'm always kind of astonished when people are outraged over things that didn't actually happen and uh and they're just imaginary people so i kind of go who really cares it's not uh it's not anything real but having said that do i think that this joke is in bad taste yes i do i think it's in bad taste because effectively i'm just uh, i don't find it funny to make jokes about anybody who is the victim of violence uh, unless perhaps you create a situation which in itself is so absurd or ironic that um, that just the absurdity of it is the point of it being funny. Not that this person couldn't run in heels, but that... Um, so let's say you could do a joke about a seven-foot professional wrestler who's renowned as the biggest badass around walking down the street and he is attacked by a roving gang, gang of malicious midgets who swarm him and beat him unconscious and then steal his wallet. So it's something like that because the, the outrageousness of the situation itself is what's humorous, then to me that could be a funny joke. But something like this is not funny. I do think that the idea that, um, so if we look at some of these things here, uh, blah, 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 blah. Transgender people are experiencing an unprecedented level of violence around the globe. Shame on Peter K for tra channeling transphobic ignorance. That's from Dr. Faye Bound Alberti. I would like to see a citation for that because I think probably now is the uh, least transphobic time in all of history. And there's probably far less incidents of this sort of thing than there have been at virtually any time throughout history. So... Uh, I don't I don't believe this. I always see people making claims like this and I never see any citations for them. So you know, I just uh, I don't buy it. Um, but anyway, they have uh, people are saying oh, I'm a massive fan and people are saying how they're um, this was so ill judged and has tainted the brilliant previous episodes. I don't see how it's tainted any of the previous brilliant episodes. If those episodes were brilliant, they still are brilliant and they're still funny. It hasn't tainted anything. Um, and here's how I would handle this. Instead of getting all offended, if I was part of the trans community or trans activists, the part of this that bothers that would bother me the most is where they say uh, this person who came out as a transgender woman was beaten up by thugs because he couldn't run in heels. That right there would be the part that offends me to say that people who probably wear heels on a fairly regular basis are unable to run run in them. So I would organize a um, an event where I held where I got some uh, some actual trans people, guys who run and, or who dress up as women and live their lives as women. I would have them do a hundred meter dash race against real women in high heel shoes, and I would sort of say see what the results are and say see we can run in heels we're not uh, we're not a bunch of incompetence and that would be my response because now you're going to sort of make a joke in return to the joke and you're going to say see the comment was silly but we have a 
uh, a sense of humor about it. We have a sense of humor about ourselves. We can sort of see how people might be uncomfortable with what we do or how people might um, view it as strange or whatever. But we're going to kind of embrace that and we're going to take it on. And I think you're going to get a lot more friends uh, from the general community. A lot more people are going to end up supporting you on what you're doing and seeing you as a non-threatening portion of society. And having said all this, I think that nobody cares right now. I think people already see trans people as non-threatening members of society and they don't really care if somebody's a man who dresses as a woman or a woman who dresses as a man and lives their life. So, But to me, this would be a far better way of responding to such a situation. And, uh, and they could turn what is sort of seen as a negative into a positive and they could also like hook themselves to a popular show they just come out they say hey you know what i know people are upset about this but it's comedy it's comedy it's not a big deal we don't take tremendous offense to it but just to show you that although they made a joke they are wrong here's what we're doing this coming saturday at whatever stadium or field track and field place we're setting up this event come on down and watch the races and then you turn it into a, a big win for both the TV show and for the group that uh, – the transgender group, whoever they are that organizes that kind of thing. That's just my thought. And, uh, and that's about it.